Well, we're here at the Marion County Sheriff's. Uh, this is Tuesday. And uh, James Madison was in here last week. It seems to me that they have put up new restricted area signs. So they're in compliance with the law now. Thank you, James Madison, for, uh, for making sure that they were in compliance. So I'm just going to go around and film some of these signs. Here at the uh, Marion County Sheriff's Center, Central Office. The helicopter landing area. We have a restricted parking area with the appropriate signage to let everybody know not to enter this area here unless you have permission authorization rather so we have the appropriate signage marked clearly on both sides of the uh, street here brand new signs put up after James Madison audits was uh, given a hard time for trying to uh, film some of our vehicles and check up on the safety of the vehicles that were damaged. See how safe they are for our officers. go in and see if some of the officers are a little bit more hospitable to the people exercising the First Amendment this time. Last week they were very snarky and uh, were insinuating that James Madison by not identifying was somehow or another breaking the law or at least being uh, deviant. Do not enter this item any suspicious items, packages, I guess a camera is not a suspicious item, at least according to Smith versus City of Cummings. It's our right to uh, film our public officials. And I guess I don't Uh, how long until y'all close? Uh, we'll close at 5 o'clock. Okay, 5 o'clock. Thank you. Now it's a uh, Valor uh, display set up here. Show some of the Valor sections of officers. Some public art. Hmm. 
human resources. Hi, I uh, don't mean to put you on the spot, but last week there was an auditor come in here, a journalist, and he was given a hard time by uh, one of the officers up front who insinuated he was breaking the law by not identifying himself. So I wonder if you have any, any comment on that or no comment? Okay, okay, yeah, we, we all saw it, so, you know, we all uh, would like some sort of an explanation, the people. Because, yeah, he was insinuating that the journalist, because he came in to make a complaint, he didn't identify himself. Mm -hmm. uh, and you could probably see it online if you do a search for it. it he was in here last week. Right. Okay, so, you know, I, I don't know what it is you're talking about. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just let, letting you know that, that there was a journalist in here last week. Um, and he was uh, given a hard time. And, um, and, and it was suggested that he was breaking the law mm -hmm. and could be arrested for not identifying himself. Right, Under uh, Florida statute nine zero one dot one five one, we don't have to identify unless we're breaking the law. Mm -hmm. We're not in a police state, so okay. at least I, at least I don't believe we are. So, okay. you know, right, I sorry, firmly I'll believe that. Day. All right, thank you. Okay. Have a great day. So there you have it from the personnel department, and uh, no comment from the. Uh, personnel department former Marion County sheriffs many of the uh, people who held the extreme position here over the years as our elected sheriff Marion County Florida Some monuments here. Um, to some of the officers, people of uh, notoriety, either for good or bad, you know, for bad being they may have given their lives for the community. Some of the uh, ribbons for the uh, Marion County flag. Marion County Sheriff's Department flag. display here of officers medal of valor valor some of meritorious awards medal of valor so there are some good officers who uh, do good things for the community. Just wish there were more good officers and uh, less of the officers who give a journalist a hard time. Hey, Hello. Excuse me. Hey. Thank you. Well, have a great day. Thank you. You too. Right. So we're going to go film around a little bit, make sure they've got the proper signage up this time. like they've got new signs up out denoting the uh, restricted areas
we can see the uh, fleet maintenance yard over this way here where James journalist James Madison audits was given a uh, hard time for trying to get a public records request on some of the damaged vehicles and the safety measures safety features of the vehicles Here to the road to see if they have I saw it on the road out here but there may be a spot here where it doesn't show restricted access And uh, I may arbitrarily or just accidentally wander into the restricted area. See, if I were to come in just on that sidewalk right there, but I did see these signs on the way in, so honestly. know they're here a restricted area of course James Madison was offered a uh, supervised uh, opportunity to be supervised while he filmed some of the uh, damage to a few of the vehicles. We have a state trooper, state law enforcement officer brother, dog uh, car here, but they have a dog inside, it's a working dog. Their vehicle's running. So I guess the dog has to have a cool environment inside. They just don't have a proper place to keep the dog other than the vehicle. So, Fish and Wildlife Commission vehicles, state of Florida. I might call that number that was offered to uh, James Madison for an opportunity to be supervised and uh, touring the damage to the vehicles and maybe that some of the just the general maintenance, fleet maintenance of the vehicles. Thank you, James Madison, for coming out here and making certain that this proper signage is up and uh, pointing out at least a couple officers, deputies rather, who uh, didn't know the law. And I'm sure the uh, sheriff was able to uh, have a little class to make sure, make sure that they were well informed of the First Amendment. Well,
inside it's a little hard to see in the shadow here it's not the best of optics on this camera main entrance emergency operations center Marion County Florida and uh, this time it's a pass as of so far because of the uh, education that they received via James Madison audits last week well thank you James <laughs>